name is Libby Gephardt and I'm an occupational therapist at Bancroft. So we are in one of the sensory rooms here at Bancroft. Um, each of the wings has a sensory room where the kids can come and kind of decompress, um, help themselves kind of feel more regulated. They can relax on the crash pad, they can come in the hug machine, um, the lights can be dimmed, music can be turned on. So we have a bunch of these sensory rooms for our kids to utilize throughout the day. the hug machine. We have two of these here at Bancroft and they were created by Temple Grandin. Um, Temple Grandin is this incredible woman who is an animal scientist but she is also an activist and spokesperson and author for uh, all things autism. Um, she herself has autism and sensory processing disorders and she years ago when she was in college was working at a cattle farm and while working there she noticed that when cattle would be sent through the cattle chute that would kind of give them a light squeeze to hold them in place while getting inoculated, she noticed that it calmed the cattle down and that they would walk out of it appearing a lot calmer than when they had walked in. So she herself actually tried it in that cattle chute and she found that uh, she felt the exact same thing, that it was able to calm her nervous system down and she felt better, she felt more regulated when she came out of it. So she created this hug machine to basically emulate that deep pressure that the cattle get, but for individuals who seek that deep pressure throughout the day or when they're feeling overwhelmed or um, really just like they're having a, a moment of just sensory overload in their environment. Um, so this is her creation, which is the hug machine. So the hug machine is designed to give individuals proprioceptive input when they need it, which is that deep pressure. So they're able to get it across their, the sides of their whole body and it's supposed to help them feel regulated and calm their nervous system down. The nice thing about this is they might come in feeling really dysregulated. We don't want them to relax so much that they fall asleep or feel really hyped up by it. We want them to feel just the right amount of regulated to be able to participate in their day. So the students slide down on their stomach like this inside the hug machine, or if they're uncomfortable this way, there are other ways that they can position themselves as well. There's a red lever underneath where they place their hands, and once they pull the lever towards them, the panels come in and give them a hug. Right now it feels like a deep, consistent hug throughout the sides of my body. They can hold on to it if they'd like for a little bit, and then when they're ready, they release, and the panels release as well. Um, there is a button that's the emergency release just in case, but typically our students will then maybe take a break and then pull the lever again, give themselves a nice big hug, and when they're ready, they can release again. Of course, there are not a ton of hug machines available, but there are a lot of other ways that students can get proprioceptive input whether they're at home or in their classroom um, or really in any environment, a lot of people do love a weighted blanket and that's another way that students can kind of receive that calming pressure. Um, a lot of our students might ask for an arm squeeze, a head squeeze, a hug. Um, there are a bunch of different ways. This is a really effective full body way of getting that input, but um, many people do love a weighted blanket or a lap pad or something like that that also calms the nervous system.